money, I'm revving. Don't preach, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. B2 Fighting Series fans, we are live from Dayton, Ohio, and this is your main event of the evening. This professional fight is sanctioned by the State of Ohio Athletic Commission. Your inspectors tonight are Steve Hanks and Tom Howard. Our judges tonight are Garrett Markham, Stacey Blevins, and Will Messer. And when the cage door slams, the referee will be Gary Copeland. This is the fight you have wanted all night. The cage is in order, and this bout is set for three rounds at five minutes apiece. Your judges are ready. Your referee is ready. Your fighters are ready. B2 Fighting Series fans, are you ready? First, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. His record stands, eight wins, three losses. His height, five feet, six inches. His weight, 136 pounds. He trains with Aries Combat Next Level and comes to you from Cleveland, Ohio. This is Jarrell Thundercat High! And his opponent, out of the game, Haven Red Corner. His record stands at 13 wins and five losses. His height, five feet. Five inches. His weight, 134 pounds. He trains with Jungle Boy Jim MMA and comes to you from Duluth, Minnesota. He is the Haitian sensation, Man Pierre All right, listen up, fighters. You both receive your instructions in the back. Expect you to listen to my commands at all time. Have a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Red? How about you, Blue? Let's touch them up, prepare to fight. It's that time, Andy. Main event of the evening. Rel Hodge in the black. Ben Pierre Saint in the white and red. High level matchup here. High level. Let's see if they fill each other out or are they going straight to it. You know Ben Pierre Saint's going to want to pressure and keep it. We started off with a nice, yep, yeah, he's going to want to press Straight left lands nice. for Ben Pierre Saint. That landed too. Yes, it did. Nice leg kick. Rel Hodge controlling the center. Ooh. Some fancy stuff there for Ben Pierre Saint. Heavy hits right there. That was heavy for hits. Because that, that was a great takedown attempt yes, by, it was. by Ben Pierre Saint. That was quick. Real Hodge is no slouch, man. He's the real deal, Holyfield. And so is Ben, ben Pierre. And look, I like his boxing, man. He's, he's got that straight one, two, and he's a southpaw as well. Yes. Spinning a tent there. It's another for thing. Ben that Pierre saying, yeah, just something to think about. Exactly. Now, this guy's got almost 20 professional fights where he's been victorious in 85%. Right. Oh! Big head, nice head, kick head kick for Real Hodge. Ben Pierre Saint ripping the right overhand. And now Rel Hodge is really good. He's got a really good darts choke too. Um, and, and he will try to pull that out. But it also he will sit there and he'll bang with you. Um, he'll try to get this thing to the ground and ground and pound you too. But he's got really slick submissions. Ben His, Pierre it, Saint fighting the hands right now. Right. And, and, and he's doing the right thing. Ben Pierre Saint definitely needs to fight the hands. Rel Hodge has really good MMA jiu-jitsu. Yes. And I call it catch wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben Pierre Saint in bottom half guard here. We've talked about how that's a bad spot to a good spot to be in in, in Gi Jiu Jitsu in your gym. Really bad spot to be in here in the B2 Fighting Series main event. Right. And Rail's hips, we've already seen how strong and, and powerful his hips are. It's going to be really hard for Ben Pierre Saint to get up out of this, but he's got to try. He can't just sit here with a dangerous right. man like Rail Hodge. Rail's trying to get that right knee out to where he can go right in the mount. He's almost there. Ben Pierre's doing a really good job, though, of controlling that right leg. 
Yeah, my gym, we call that quarter guard. It's, you know, it's the yeah, very yeah. last thing. Right. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. And Rel Hodge passes all the way to side control now. Slowly and methodically improving his position. Left elbow there all day for Rel Hodge if he wants it. But he's got be better ideas. Two on one on the left hand of Ben Pierre Saint. And Ben Pierre Saint, he's been here a hundred times, man. He knows what to do. He's calm. He's a true professional and veteran. Oh, almost a good reversal. Great job by Rel Hodge to get yes. the back right there. I thought that Ben Pierre Saint was going to reverse that. But he's turning into the choke exactly what he needs to do. Yes. And Rel Hodge trying to force Ben Pierre Saint to his stomach. He just put. Did he just put his fingers in his nose? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it looked like he did. Yeah. On accident, but it right. looked like he did. So impressed with the patience man. of Rel Hodge. I mean, he's not in any kind of hurry. No, he's not, man. He's he, The thing is, is you got to give it up for Ben, man. I mean, he could have took an easier fight, you know, yes. coming off a five-year hiatus, and he's like, nope. I want the best of the best. Give them to me. The absolute toughest in the world that's not in the UFC. Exactly. And, and like we talked about in the pre-show, man, this is a contender series fight. Right? Yes. Ben Pierre Saint doing a good job of uh, trying to control the posture, but Rel Hodge is just so strong. I mean, look how wide this guy's back is for a bantamweight. Right. So strong. I was talking with his coach, Dave Graff, earlier today, and he said that he benches twice his weight. Twice his weight, that's what he benches, so he's very strong for with the 135 division. You know, we didn't even get to see any of his stand-up because it, his ground's been so dominant. Yes. Oh, gosh, that was a huge left hand that landed flush on the cheek of Ben Pierre Saint. That hurt Ben Pierre right then. Real hot starting to go to work here. The choke, it's not under the chin just yet. Uh, he's, got, he's got to turn in, but we've seen people tap to this, that pressure on that jaw, yes. man. Yes, and Rel Hodge is strong enough to pull this off. Yes, he is. He's fighting the hands. Ben Perry Saint's doing the right thing and fighting the hands. But you can't sit here and survive with Rel Hodge on your back like this. Pierre Saint doing the right thing, two on one. There he goes, good job out. getting out. But, but you still have Rail Hodge on your back. How do I solve this puzzle? 30 seconds remaining. Body triangle now for Rail Hodge. He's just riding the man. And Ben Pierre Saint's taking all of his weight. He's yes. really, you know. But he's being calm. He's doing everything right. As defensively he is. Yeah, these are true professionals. A lot of guys don't get out of this situation when Rail Hodge is on your back like this. Usually it's over with by now. There are so few, if any, mistakes being made right now in this cage. Right. A dominant first round for Rail Hodge. Ben Pierre Saint in a bad spot, but he survives to see round two. And here you see on the replay, that head kick. Looks like it was blocked, but the right hand gets through. Right. And Rel Hodge just running at Ben Pierre Saint. You see on the replay, Pierre Saint ripping off three overhand rights in a row that just missed. Just missed. I yes. mean, inches, but this is a game of inches. Yes, it is. It only needs to miss by an inch. So, but. This could be different if one of them would have landed. Maybe that, if he would have set it up with a jab and then threw or something. You don't never know, man. Hindsight's 2020. But we got a second round coming up. Rel Hodge is calm, cool, collective. Ben Pierre St. looks I mean, for some of the situations he was in, he seems like he's okay. He seems fresh. He does. He's, he seems like he's fine, really. I mean, considering what was just happening to him. Yeah, and he look, man, he had a good camp. He came under. Yes. He weighed in at 134. So, you know, he, he was ready to go. Round two of a potential three rounds. Rel Hodge. Rel Hodge has got to watch that overhand left, though, because it's sneaky. Yeah, it's just. Oh, it's right there, see? Right there. Oh, oh, right there, he caught it. And Ben Pierre Saint landed. Rel Hodge doesn't carry. He's throwing, he's throwing hard shots back. And ben Pierre Saint landing that left hook as well, or excuse me, right hook. Right hook, too, yes. Yes. I mean, he's landing his punches. Rel's got to get his hands up. You hear a pin drop here in the Dayton Convention Center right now. A lot of anxiety for yeah. this main event. A lot of good things going on right here, man. Nice. 
I mean, Ben Pierre saying I like his stand-up. I think it looks good. Agreed. And this is a an orthodox. Oh, oh, he caught him with that straight right. Oh. Oh, that was a knee. Was that a knee on the ground? That was a knee to the ground. I don't think it landed. Uh, if we, if we can see the replay, ben Pierre Saint it, it was saying, close. Ben Pierre Saint saying, what are you talking about? But I don't think it landed. I think it was to the shoulder. It might have been to the shoulder. I don't think that If that was, was to the, the shoulder, that was a very precise it, knee to the shoulder. I think it was. We'll, we will see the replay here in just a second. Here we, here we here go. Here it is. You see he it. rocked him with the, with the right yeah. cross. Let's see if the head moves. Yes, uh, it did. Yeah. It yeah. did, right on the cheek. Yeah, was that not even a point for that? No, it wasn't. Mean, that was he was almost up. Like right. he, he just he he just barely missed time that knee. But that's all it takes. I mean, yes. But nonetheless, we fight on. Yep. Ben Pierre Saints coach is saying, back him up. Don't let him be comfortable. I'm gonna tell you, man. You know, Ben Pierre Saints throwing that overhand left. If he was straighten that thing up, Ooh, straight oh straight right. Oh man, that is so fast. That thing is like wow. a piston. Real hot. Oh. It, is that right hand try to, time begin, the, try to time the level change, I think. Yep. The knee on the exit. Oh, the nice left hand kick. kick. Oh. oh, the overhand left. Ben Pierre nice. Saints not going to fade. No, he's the left fading, lands again. He's, he's a true veteran. He's he's here. He's and in it. Rel Hodge acknowledges that. He got a little bit of respect from Rel Hodge there, did Ben, P ben Pierre Saints. Tell you, man, Real Hodges take down defense is great. Yes, absolutely. Ben Pierre Saint starting to work for this single leg, trying to suck his hips out, trying to suck that leg out from the cage. Real Hodges doing a great job being stubborn with his leg. Those elbows hurt. Yes, they do hurt. Them short elbows to the side. Rel Hodge like, man, I'm going to take you down. He's holding the fence. Rel Hodge in full mount now. Halfway through this second round, an eternity for Rel Hodge to work here in this full mount. The Ben Pierre Saint was here in the first round. He was able to, to survive. He's trapping the, the left hand of Ben Pierre Saint. And we saw this earlier in the in the amateur fight. Once you get this, it's hard, man. Here we go. Ben Pierre Saint, he's doing a good job. He's trying to use he his is. feet to wall walk. Just change the position where his hands are not trapped. But Rel Hodge's base is so strong. Coach is yelling for him to go out the back door. Which he's trying to, but he's kind of stuck right there. And Rail's kind of stuck. There he goes. Beautiful job by Rail. Good transition. And Rail's just winning the transitions right now. Exactly. Beating Ben Pierre Saint to the punch. Ben Pierre Saint still in this fight. He's trying to suck up a single leg here. And Rail's just being really methodical, man. Just slow. He's not. He's not really trying to pressure anything. He's yes. not trying to force anything. I'm. I'm sorry. I should have said force. These are true high-level professional fight right here. You can tell the difference, folks, at home. Yes. On amateurs and a true high-level guys that should be at the next level. It's a two totally different ball games. And Rail Hodge, he's fine here. He, it just feels like he's in complete control of all these moments. And it, you know, always. Oh, a really impressive back take for wow. Rel Hodge. But Ben Pierre Saint, he's always moving. He's always moving, man. He's been here. He knows what to do to get out of these situations. Rel Hodge picking his shots. There's two nice shots to the left side of the ear of Ben Pierre Saint. But Ben Pierre Saint is not going away. He's not settling. No. And Rel Hodge controlling the right hand and sneaking the right hook through. Full back control now for Rel Hodge. Both hooks in. Pierre Saint trying to get his back flat. Good job forcing Rail Hodge to come up on the mount. Rail Hodge is just a step quicker on the transitions. That's it, on the scrambles. That's, that's what it is. 13 seconds left. But I will tell you this. This is the toughest opponent Rail Hodge has ever had. Agreed. Yes. And one shot for the walk home. Rail shot, excuse me, Rail Hodge. Mr. Gary Copeland was like, man, y'all come on, man. You got Knee to the face on the ground, holding the fence, trying to prevent the takedown. He was like, come on, guy. He said that in the ring. Come on, what's going on? 
Right here's the replay. Nice body kick by Rail Hodge. Nice left hook, overhand hybrid left by Ben Pierce Saint. Good knee that missed by Rail Hodge. Great takedown right here. Gets the takedown. Nice ben Pierce trip. Saint's yep. holding the cage. That's what I was talking about. Well, he got knee in the head on the ground, so. Oh, yeah, man. Yep. Tit for tat. Yep, tit for tat, man. You cheated, I'm going to cheat. We're up. <laughs> One to one, it's one all good. One. Now it's an even fight. But I'm gonna tell you, I think that Rail Hodge is probably up two rounds to none. And the grappling is in complete control, but on the feet, Ben Pierre Saint is close. He's close. I think the like you said, the, the, the crosses from Rail Hodge, they're like they're firing like pistons, man. But here's the thing. Rail Hodge has got to be careful of that overhand left that Ben Pierre Saint's been landing. All it takes is that one on that chin, and it could be over with, and then it's night night. So, you know. But real, that's what we're talking about, right? On keys to victory, be smart. Real Hodge has got to be smart. And he's fought and he a, is. a, he's a very, very smart, very smart fight. fight. That's what I was about to say. He's fought a very smart fight. And there you see the shot attempt. Oh, oh the big head, head kick. kick. And another one. Yep. Real that Hodge landed. throwing big shots. Yeah, they did. And Ben Pierre Saint still in this. Real Hodge is not even breathing hard, man. No, he's not. And that's, that's the way it goes when you're in complete control of every moment. Yep. Oh, nice elbow. And oh, another, head, another kick head kick just misses. And Real Hodge is like, man, come on, just go down. He needs to get that right hand up. He keeps dropping that right hand to, and, and that's when Ben Pierce, oh, nice head kick by Ben Pierce Saint. And uh, Pierre Saint's corner is yelling. He keeps dropping his hands. He keeps dropping. He is. He's dropping his hands all the way to his chest. Look, you, I, I you know, he is doing that. He's dropping his hands, but I feel like his timing and his reads are just so good that he's They're able so, to get it back yeah. up. Like, he just sees these things coming, Real Hodge does. He so does. He, can, he can get away with dropping his hands. Look at that. But here's the – oh. But here's the thing, though, right? Once you get up to, like, the UFC level, you them, them little mistakes like that, these guys are going to capitalize on. Yes. He's going to have to fix that, man. Ooh, oh, nice straight right, hand. right hand. That was hard. We heard that right here in front of us. Yep. Ben Pierre Saint starting to mix it up right now. And Andy, as we said in our keys to victory, we think that Real Hodge needs to impress. I feel like he needs to finish this fight. I feel like so too, man. You know, some of the guys might be like, hey, man, he's fought a guy that had a five year hiatus. Kudos to Ben Pierre Saint for taking a tough fight like Real Hodge. Agreed. But that's why I was saying I think he needs to be impressive with the W. And I'm not saying. I think being impressive with the W gets him straight to the UFC. With a win tonight, gets him to the contender. Real Hodge starting to open up here yeah, on the he feet. Is. He's trying to a kick and a one-two. Oh, another nice kick. kick. Still got plenty of time in the third and final round. Oh, nice straight right hand. Right that, lands. That, that, that right hand, hand lands anytime he wants it to. It's like you said, Hacker. I agree with you, man. His timing's so good. He reads everything so well. Yes. So he can get away with, you know, people in, back in the day you used to see Anderson Silva back up on the cage and move his head and he would wave guys on calling because he was just so far ahead of guys. His timing and, and his reads were so good. And he knew what you were going to throw at him. He's seen it a million times. True. But the thing is, eventually that catches up with you. Yes, it does. Especially in, you know, the U.S. Oh, Real Hodge gosh. just threw Van Pierre Saint for five, man. Wow. In complete control of this. Yeah, he is. That's a five-point throw right there. Yep. I mean, very dominant performance. We're Absolutely. talking about, hey, man, he needs a spectacular win. Just because he didn't get a finish, man, it's been a very dominant There's performance. There's still two minutes left. There is. There's a yeah. long time left. But ben, ben Pierre Saint is hard to kill. He's hard to kill. Dude, he's a true veteran. He's a tough guy. He's a real deal, man. He's a real deal. Look, yeah. five-year hiatus. Do I think some of the ring rust got to him? Maybe so, a yes. little bit. I think next time we see Ben Pierre Saint, he'll be a more polished fighter. Yes. He's, I mean, He's coming in here a 13-5 and five pro. Yeah. That is a hell of a record. Right. And, you know, barring any miracles, he's probably going to be 13-6. and six. Still a hell of a record. He's a great fighter, which only highlights, like, how great of a performance this is for Rail Hodge. I mean, he's in complete control of this fight from start to finish against a great fighter. Yeah, if I'm the UFC, man, I'm calling this guy up. I Agreed. Mean, you know, he, he's, already, he's beat your, you know, your – 
your, your ex-champ, you know, from a couple of years ago, Cardi Gar Cody Garbrandt. He's beat a lot of tough guys. Give him a shot, man. He's still young. He's only 31 years of age. Give him a shot. Big elbows from Mount right now. Oh, Rojas man. wants to finish this fight, yeah, he no does. doubt. But Ben Pierre saying he's okay. Like we said, he's hard to kill. Hips are completely flat, and Rel Hodge is just kind of looking. Right, and one thing I'm, I'm really impressed with Ben Pierre saying, he's, he never settles. He's right. always moving, always Agreed. moving. He never settles. And we talk about a lot like in, in lower-tier pro fights or even amateur fights, how they, they'll settle there. And they won't try to move. They're not trying to scramble. Oh, arm bar oh, arm yeah, this is close. It. This is it. Ben, does Ben Pierre Saint survive this? Ten seconds remaining. My gosh, what a warrior is Ben oh, Pierre wow, Saint. man. He's a uh, what a warrior. He's not going to tap. Great job. He had he, and and he had literally no reason to not tap. No, no reason no. to not tap other no. than honor. What a and warrior. That's what it was. Yep. And look, Ben Pierre Saint. He's got he's got to be proud of himself, man. He took Rail Hodge, who's been active, right? Yes. He's been active all year, to a to a decision. He's been out for five years, so he's got to keep his head up, man. Absolutely. Rail Hodge is coming over, shaking his hand. Great fight, great main event. Great main event. Thankful for both of these fighters yeah. for coming in here and putting on that performance for us. And Ben Pierre Saint is a hell of a fighter, man. He's going to be back and better. And we think Ben Ben Pierre Saint's probably going to drop to 13 and six. Rel Hodge. Right. Here's a replay right here three. on that five point. Man, that's straight back. Look, right and he's here. just holding him in the air. That is straight back. That's five points. Yep. Yes. My gosh. It just incomplete control of this fight again from bookmark to bookmark as Rel Hodge. You see Ben Pierre saying it hurts. Again, we talk about the highest of highs is winning an MMA fight. One of the lowest of lows is losing. It's one of the worst pains, but that's the game. That's the gamble you take. But, you know, the thing about it is, I mean, seriously, he, he's, he, he's very upset right now with himself. He's, he's, he needs to hold his head up. There's a lot of people that have been active that are about to get a shot to the UFC that will not fight that man in the blue corner over there, Rail Hodge. Absolutely. This man stepped up on a five-year hiatus. Kudos to him. We'd love to have him back any chance we can get him back. We've been trying to have Real Hodge for so long. Oh, but yeah. But don't nobody want to fight him. No, nobody wants to fight Real Hodge, man. And and look at Real Hodge. He could go three more rounds. Oh, yeah. Hell of a fight card here tonight at B2 Fighting Series 138 in Dayton, Ohio, which we will recap in just a few moments. But, man, what a main event. I'm so impressed by both of these fighters. It wasn't Ben Pierre Saints night tonight. But Rel Hodge, he's the truth. He's, he's the truth. And he's some, the truth. And sometimes, Andy, you have guys come in here with that record, and you see that they're not the truth. We've, That's true. We've seen that. Because they're padded. Right. They're padded fights. Right. We have seen that. Rel Hodge, he's, he's, he, he he's doesn't legit. have padded fights. He's legit, man. Yeah. He's fought the best. He has that record for a reason. He is next up. Sean Shelby, Dana White, you got to give the man a call. Give him a shot. To. Give him his chance. I mean, he, he just... I mean, he borderline slept walk through this fight with a 13 and five, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way to either Rel no. or or Ben Pierre Saint, but he no. just made it look effortless. And we've got the judges' scorecards now. We're gonna wrap this one up and figure out quite what the tally was. Here is Cage Not Sir Lance Green. B2 Fighting Series fans, your referee. Or, excuse me. At the end of three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges. Your judges score this fight 30, 27, 30, 27, 30, 26, for a unanimous decision. Your winner out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner, Jarrell Thundercat! All right, Rail Thundercat Hodge moves to nine and three.
way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. They was same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one. <laughs>